All right, YouTube. So today we got a little update in the trailer. I know, uh, you know, I try to show things I've been doing lately and all that. And today, uh, truck came back. We just did last week. We did pretty good. Had a little run to Laredo, Texas, and then a run out from there to Georgia. So North Carolina, Texas, Texas to Georgia, Georgia back up a little bit more north than where we're at right now. And um, did pretty good. Weekend before Christmas, usually rates are pretty good. As expected, so worked out pretty good. Truck got washed and trailer got washed for the first time. The drive in I picked up the other week, came back in, and my dad was like, "Probably should wash the floor in it," which is fine. It was pretty dirty. It's a 2000, 2002 trailer, so it's had some it's had a lot of stuff put in it. So last night it got in, mixed up some solution. I did a uh, like 50/50, yeah, 50/50 purple power, like water purple power, and then I uh, did two. Yeah, the 30, 32 ounces of uh, just normal bleach for your uh, your clothes. And usually that kills all the mold bacteria and all that stuff. It's not too strong where it's going to ruin your clothes when you're here washing it. But um, I get the light out because it's kind of getting dark later in the day, in the wintertime. It's kind of how things go. Good weather. It's nice and warm here in North Carolina. But it's also uh, about to get dark. And it is Sunday. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, always working for people out there who don't realize when you have a business you work every day you can that's how you make money <laughs> um, take time off when you want today I've been you know little things not work not working a whole lot today obviously wait on the family to show up uh, got dinner neighbors cooking dinner for us and everything so um, he does smoked meat so it should be pretty good but here's a trailer behind me it cleaned up really good like, uh, I mean, of course, you know, you got the paint and stuff, all that, but it, you know, you guys can look at the last video. Uh, it looked really bad. It was pretty dirty. It ain't been washed in a long time. So, obviously, it turned out really good. Uh, I got some black paint out and blacked out, you know, suspension and all that stuff, which worked out uh, good. Wheels turned out really good for what they are. You know, they could use a bit more cleaning. Everything turned out pretty good, but the biggest thing that today I was going over was the floor. If you guys look at the previous video, uh, you can see the floor is really black. You know, because mainly on this back side, let me put the light on for you, because we're going to hop up in here. That thing takes a little while to warm up. But uh, mainly on the back, back here, you know, you, all your traffic goes in and out. I mean, you get this junk brought in and out of it. That's how it works. Um, this week we had as a shipper, we were going to do a floor load with, and my dad's concern was the floor being so dirty because they weren't going to put no protectant down and we're hauling tissue paper. So of course, if you have any moisture or any type of contaminants in the floor it was going to be an issue. And so that was one of the big concerns while we cleaned the floor uh, yesterday. Actually, it took me three and a half hours to really scrub this thing down pretty good uh, with a pressure washer. I think it was like about 45 or 35 degree tip on it. Um, turned out really good though. I mean, a lot of stuff came off of it. Um, hop up in here and I'll show you. Yeah, this trailer here is a composite <clears throat> floor. Well, maybe call it combination floor, I guess you'd call. Don't see it too common in a reef in a dry van. But it is split, you know, aluminum on both sides. You got your wood in between composite sides uh, with the dirt plate. And then this one up here, the floor goes from wood to metal where your uh, fifth wheel is. King pin, whatever you want to call it, plate. But uh turned out really good. Like I said, it, it, it turned out really good. I use the same combination of cleaner. Sometimes I mix it with uh, washing detergent instead of purple power, but uh, that's what I had laying around. And uh, worked out pretty good. Decided to clean it this weekend because probably not be doing much work next weekend just because of traffic and wanting time off and everything else. But it turned out really good, I thought. Before I get, I'll give you guys an update how to take care of it a little bit better. <clears throat> but yeah, we ain't had no issues with the shipper. That shipper run the, uh, wanted us to pull for uh, a tissue paper. I was actually hauling it pretty cheap anyways. So they kind of give us the update and they said, you know, we got good, we got good door seals, you know, cause they were being really particular, but we had good door seals. You know, they've been replaced. Obviously, there's a rip there or whatever. They had to cut and, and splice it, but 
Everything else is pretty good in this trailer. But the deal is, like I told you before in the last video, is these hinges. You know, when you have a hinge that's been modified like this, it's been bumped and moved around, it makes that, that door not seal 100%. <clears throat> so the driver got down to uh, Texas down there. We got paid really good going down. Got down there and um, went to get reloaded, and they're like, we'll, we'll, we'll tape your trailer. We'll put some tape on the outside for $150. And I said, there ain't no way. We're hauling cheap already. I'm not paying $150 in my pocket. Not for something that's an issue. I mean, I guess it is my issue, but it's not worth it to me. I'll find something else. That worked out great. We ended up finding a shorter run uh, that paid more money. And then it gave us the opportunity to pick up another load, the third load that week, which even made more money. So that decision of them turning us down made us an extra like $2,000. So I'm not complaining one bit. Uh, they had cheap freight that, that, that did not need to be moved, and that's why they're so particular worth their trailer selection. It's uh, stuff that's on the board that can get moved whenever they need it moved. Uh, whenever willing, somebody's willing to do it cheap. Which, when I say cheap, it was the average for the area. It wasn't like dirt cheap, like a dollar a mile or nothing, but it was average for the area. But uh, here's the other side of the trailer. You know, truck went pretty good. I might put some paint on that back wheel. It's kind of a little bit rusted. Did get the green light in uh, for the Wallbash ABS monitoring system to measure wheel temp, wheel bearing temp, and brake temp, which is working great. So we got all that system figured out. But yeah, it turned out good looking trailer. I mean, it's got its bumps and bruises, but uh, looks don't pay the bills. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.